Welcome back from the motorcycle shed. And in this series of videos, we've been looking at the disassembly and the reassembly of this 1989 Kawasaki KLR650 engine. And uh, what we're hoping to do today is uh, finish the disassembly of the right hand engine case, which means taking out the transmission and the crank. And hopefully by the end of today, what we're gonna be left with is two engine casings the only remaining components in them being the bearings. So let's see how we get on. Okay, for, um, for ease of assembly or reassembly, what we're gonna do is mark the fork selectors. So that's one, that's two, and that is three. The easiest thing to do in terms of taking this to bits is uh, simply remove the fork selector shafts like this. A little bit of help, there we go. And then we can just prise these apart and remove the shift drum that just pops out like that. We can now just slide these fork selectors out actually. There we go, that's one. And the bottom one out as well so all that remains now is to just take the input shaft and the output shaft simply out so all we have to do is if we take them out just got to be careful that the components are all okay it's that one and the output shaft on that one. Okay. So that's nice and easy. I think what you couldn't see in that last piece of footage was a needle roller bearing in a right hand engine case on the bottom end of the output shaft. I'll just pull it out. Here we are. Here it is. And that can see it would have gone on like that. What we're going to do now is measure the wear limits on the fork selector arm ears. Um, they should be between 4.4 and 4.5 with the worn out limit, service limit being uh, 4.3. So we're looking for a figure between 4.4 and 4.5 millimeters. That's smack in the middle. 4.4 to 4.5, yep, that's smack in the middle. 4.4 to 4.5. So that's 4.4 to 4.5. I'm just gonna put a couple of zip clips on these two shafts. Um, just to keep the components together in the right order, just because I pick it up and it all falls to bits. Now, this goes in the left hand engine case at the point where the output shaft sticks out the back of the case. So you get the bearing here and you get this collar that slips in on top like that. Um, we don't want to lose that because it's because it already fell out the case as it was. So let's just let's put that around here. Right, that's going nowhere. Okay, so this is the rear balancer shaft. Just pull that off. That should just pop out, and it does. Take the circlip. There's also a washer on it as well, so, so it goes like that. And this is the front balancer shaft. Pull that out. And note that's the uh, sheared water pump impeller shaft, which is the reason for, one of the reasons for dismantling this.
and finally the crank so hopefully that will just lift out and it does there we go uh, right perfect just pull out there we go right with our uh, trusty DeWalt impact driver we're going to take out the uh, bearing positioning plates in the right hand crankcase oh, just love this thing So let's get rid of these first. Right, we have a problem, as they say, and the fact is that I've sheared this bolt here, which means I can't get this plate off, which means I can't get that bearing out. Now, I think probably what we could try and do is heat this case up um, which is the tried and tested way of getting the bearings out of the case because aluminium expands under heat greater than steel so if we heat this up to about I just need to check this about 200 degrees in the oven um, these will just gently very very gently just tap out or probably pull out to be honest with you so um, we can do that and what I'm rather hoping is that these are as these are steel that expansion of the aluminium might loosen these I mean if not we we've got a bit of a problem here but uh, let's see how we go with the heating this case up we're now looking at the bottom of the left-hand engine casing and if you remember from previous videos this engine had been um, bottomed out on the ground and it had badly damaged the uh, bottom of the casing here around the oil uh, drain plug and um, it had been very badly repaired. Now, this has been a way to HT Howard Engineering in Slough in the UK, and they have done a marvellous job of repairing this, and it is as good as new. And uh, there we go. What a great job. So there are one or two other bits that need to come out of the left hand crankcase to ensure I can get it in the oven and heat it up and get these bearings out. Um, so these two seals here and the neutral switch. So let's get on with that. So that's a 14 mil. I'll loosen that off so that should just come out. Yep. There we go. Wash under there, that's good. Right, let's see if we can get these seals out. <laughs> 